is the day of the Lord proper. Fantastic news of the hour. Watchman Campus Fellowship presents Hilltop Encounters 2020. Theme: This is the day of the Lord proper. The Lord in question is the owner of the universe and he seems to have kept quiet over the affairs of men in time past. Now is the time he had ordained to bless all that align with him and deal ruthlessly with all who oppose him. This conference is for students and staff of higher institutions of learning and indeed lovers of the academia. Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Taimos, a professor of agricultural economics and a member of this forum. Incidentally, the chairman of the alumni forum of this great movement. On behalf of the Alumni Forum, I want to wish every one of us, especially our coordinator in person of Pastor Dr. Edwin Onyabo and all his lieutenants a successful outing. I congratulate every one of us for this year's Hilltop Encounter. This year's encounter promises to be an exciting one, not because of anything, but because of the packaging that has gone into it and all the anointed men and women of God that have been commissioned into giving us the talks during the seminars and the messages. You know, this year's own, incidentally, is the 20th. The theme is more appropriate and at any other time than now. The theme of this year is this is the day of the Lord proper. And I am sure that you are going to benefit maximally. I want to specially again appreciate our coordinator for all the tireless efforts that have been put into it through the committees that we are put in place and the deployment of technology at this 21st century to make sure that everyone globally is hooked on to this program. Once again, I want to wish every one of us a successful outing this year and pray that the good Lord who has been keeping us will continue to keep every one of us, even beyond now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I have been part of this train for upwards of 20 years now. When I was the pioneer, the assistant campus coordinator in the north, we have been driving this train by the mercy of God, through the general servant of God's mandate on us, and I know, and I'm believing God with you, that you are going to have a great time this year. Once again, I welcome every one of us on behalf of the Alumni Forum, and I wish us a successful outing in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, 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 my beloved brethren, my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Hamir Oluwatimele Hamodu. I am the coordinator of the new brethren here in Northern Cyprus. I am a master's student in two different institutions. First, Near East University. I am studying electrical and electronics engineering, and I am currently writing my master's thesis. And also in the second university, which is Cyprus International University. I am studying energy system engineering and also currently writing my master's thesis. I bring you greetings from Northern Cyprus, from my beloved pastor and my brethren. It is a privilege to be part of the Watchman family. I've repented some years ago from the other religion 
And since then, I can tell you the God of Aloysius, the God of my father and your father, has been very gracious to me. He has been very wonderful to me in all rounds. Is he academically in all rounds? I cannot say it all. I am so excited to be a partaker of this great and wonderful program, the Youth of Encounters 2020. And I know you are also excited to be among the participants. And it promises to be great because it is the day of the Lord and the day of the Lord proper. How we all know that in the day of the Lord, so many things happen and those things are mighty things and they are very significant to us as his children. I know and I'm sure you will not be left out. You will not stay behind even as we join in this program. And then, of course, I need to tell you that this is the 20th edition of the Youth of Encounters happening in the year 2020. What a year. What it in fact is going to be glorious. And before we go, I would like to read for, for you a scripture from Isaiah. So that's Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. It says, I am going to do a new thing. It is already happening. Don't you recognize it? I will clear a way in the desert and I will make rivers on, the dry, on dry land. So I want you to understand that in this program, great and mighty things are set to happen in my life and in your life. So long live the Watchman family. Long live the man of God, our GS, Daddy Aloysius, and long live the vision. So I want you to be excited even as we journey into the program and then make sure you participate because it is definite that whosoever participates will not be left out. Thank you very much. I wish you the very best in this program. Hi. I'm Shineke Victory. And I'm a worker from the Watchman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, Lviv, Ukraine. And I'm also a medical student in the Lviv National American University in here in Lviv, Ukraine. Now I'm here to welcome you to the, watch, to the Health of Encounters 2020. Now, bear in mind that this is the day of the Lord proper. And as this is the day of the Lord proper, God is raising an army of boys and girls, an army of youths, an army of, of, of children, and an army of every single person of every single age, but most especially an army of youths with tongues, with fire in their tongues, who is ready to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the gates. Who is ready to take the banner of Jesus Christ and fly it towards the world? Now, and the main question here is, are you going to be among them? Now, as you are in this program, just try and connect them as much as you can. Try and connect very well to what is being done here. If you are praying, pray with us. If you are, if you are clapping, clap with us. If you are reading the Bible, read with us. One thing I can show you, that God is not going to leave you. God won't forsake you. And every single prayer that you have prayed, the God will answer it. Thank you so much, and God bless. My name is uh, Dr. Ezekiel F. Halley, the Associate Professor of Pharmacology and Toxicology, and Dean of the School of Pharmacy of the University of Liberia. I'm grateful that you are here this afternoon to have one or two words from me as it relates to Washman experience. Well, uh, when I study abroad in Abadi, in the University of Abadi in UK, I came across a Washman member, the person of Brother Godwin Otobo. He and I live in the same uh, Hostel and once invited me to attend the, the service with him. One even one church service, uh, call it light, uh, Sunday light, Sunday light service. So uh, I accepted the invitation and I went along. But then I was worshiping, but before then I was worshiping with one of our uh, Nigerian friends uh, congregation as well. Uh, so, but when I saw and I reviewed the two services, I proposed that uh, I will continue with Washman because uh, the style and the way of worship I had interest in. And so I didn't have any reservation but to continue to serve my God in the UK while I was abroad studying with the Washman. And the brethren were so good to me 
In fact, at a certain point in time, I had gone out of uh, monetary supply. So I almost like, left UK to come back to Liberia because the support that I needed or that I was entitled to was not available. And as such, I talked to Godwin and the, de the pastor there, Pastor Luke, uh, and uh, when they had some conversation with me, they decided to encourage me to remain. And so with their prayers and their assistance, I was able to go through the program. And so I'm grateful that I came across a friend who led me somewhere. Now today, I have had so many benefits from the watchman. And uh, my experience with the Expo, the Hilltop I mean, uh, services, uh, I have attended greatly too. One was first in Liberia when I got an invitation uh, by Brother Emmanuel, who introduced me to the, past, the resident pastor in Liberia, Brother Wisdom. I attended that Hilltop in 2018. Uh, at the YMCA in Morovia. It was a very good encounter, a very good experience again. And after that, another year, 2019, I got another invitation for <coughs> the Explot Conference in Nigeria, Oweri, so to speak, <laughs> in the, in the north, eastern part of Nigeria. So, the watchman was able to buy my plane ticket to and fro, and they fed me, they lodged me, they facilitated all of my travels and my stay in Nigeria for that hilltop, a week-long uh, hilltop conference. So I have had, like I said before, very strong experience with the watchman. And uh, the brothers there are caring, they are loving. And I know that uh, all of you who are listening to me and watching this may be encouraged not to go away from the watchmen. Above that, uh, they had decided to have a fellowship, a uh, campus fellowship. And uh, we have been working actually towards having a Christian fellowship with Pastor Wisdom. We did prepare a letter and we took it to the student affairs vice president. And uh, but because of the COVID crisis in the country now, we do not have congregation or congregating uh, students. They don't come in large numbers. So when I followed up with that letter of request, I was told that we needed to wait more because now there are no students on campus, so they will get to us and we are still waiting that response. So, so far, about my experience with the watchman, I think I'm a very great beneficiary. I did not be watchman, I was going to drop from my master's program in the UK and to return with no paper, with no result. I want to be thankful that they were able to take care of me. And then, now that we are brothers and friends, I will always associate myself with them. Even though I'm also a, 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 in a church, um, one of the, you know, so to speak, people that they, they, they can consult. That was standing, watchmen, mentorship, watchmen, style of worship, biblical belief. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, belief is what I really am, uh, admire with them. And I will continue to do. Every year there is uh, a message. Every time there is a campus fellowship, there is a message, a team that is being followed. For this year, the title of the of the message or the team is This is the day of the Lord proper. And as been declared by the man of God, this year we believe that God will fulfill every promise of his word. And so wherever you will be able to go across or any campus this year for this uh, encounter program or for this very important conference, 
please go along and know that this is the day of the law proper. So I want to appreciate all of you for listening to this very short clip. And I hope that uh, wherever exploit is being conducted, we pray that souls will be won to Christ. Thank you very much. This is the day of the Lord proper.